Most years we book a cottage away towards the end of spring and the start of the summer. And this year was no different. We headed up to a cottage in Perthshire and we're really hoping when we booked it for some nice, warm, sunny weather. However, as you've probably seen from the intro, that wasn't the case and as I woke up in the morning to make some coffee, I was looking out of the window to snow-capped mountains. After having some breakfast and some coffee, myself, the dog, my wife and my son decided we were going to try and tackle a Monroe that we could see from the kitchen window. And one of the beauties about hiring a cottage in the middle of the mountains is it doesn't take too long to get in the car and drive up to the starting point. It was looking nice and sunny down here, but we knew it was going to be a different world as we ascended up the mountain. The drive itself took us about oh, seven minutes from the front door of our lodge to the car park and this road here heads up to the highest point of any public road in the UK and it takes you up to the Cairnwell Pass which is probably better known by many people as the Glenshee Ski Centre. And all the way up the drive, up Glenshee, you could see the mountain we were heading for. But soon we arrived at the car park and we found a space which isn't hard here. One of the beauties of this starting point is there's a huge car park and unless you're going up in the winter, it's never hard to find a space. So we parked up and I tell you what, up at this elevation at about 670 metres, the wind was whistling and it was certainly feeling like winter, not summer. That was for sure. Oh, good morning. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a cold day today. We are, well, I don't know what the day is exactly, are we? Yeah, next week it's going to be June. <laughs> and I said in a few videos ago that uh, I thought it was going to be the last two of winter when we were up Ben Moore, but myself and the, my family, my wife and kids, we've, uh, we've booked a night at a cottage uh, at the bottom of the glen here. And last night we could just see these hills from the, uh, from the cottage turning whiter and whiter. And uh, yeah, a bit of snow, so come on summertime. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, because we never got to go out in the winter. Well, some of us didn't any because of the COVID, so I'm kind of glad to see the snow, but tell you what, it's not warm today. It's really cold. And this is another one of the hills that I'll probably put in my playlist for uh, easier hikes for beginners, but there is snow on the ground up here. I, I think it's going to be superficial because when we arrived at the cottage last night, this hill didn't have any snow in it at all. So I know it's all fallen last night, so it's, uh, Let's crack on up there and see if we get some views. Whoa. Right, let's go. Oh, right. We're making our way up. The wind's getting a bit, a wee bit stronger and there's a few snow showers blowing through, but it's still quite nice. And you can see behind me, this is a, there's quite a, this is good for beginners because there's a nice track, as long as you can see it, which the, uh, the ski centre has put in, you can walk up. It's not the most pretty of hills, but it does give good, uh, good walking, good access up to the Bila here. And then you can split up to a hill called the Cairnwell, which I think is the one we're going to. There's three here, actually, but we're not sure what we're going to do. We've been up the wall before, but uh, yeah, there is a shelter at the top of the Cairnwell, and I think it's going to be windy up there. So you might have seen me up there before as well, but I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to the top. So at the moment, I'm going to crack on, catch up with my wife and son. <laughs> They're, they're leaving me in their dust and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get to the top. Ooh. 
with the weather being anything but summery, my wife and my son were off like shots. They weren't hanging around for me to do bits to camera and setting the camera up for B-roll. They were having none of that. So every time I caught them up, I would soon lose them again as I set up my camera for more B-roll. So that's, <laughs> that's why you're seeing these two figures on the distant horizon there. I did a lot of jogging to catch up with them, that was for sure. And I definitely wasn't at the summit first on this trip. Anyway, it was cold and the wind, you can't really get a feel from it from this footage, but it was whistling in from the north and we weren't stopping because it was really, really cold. Anyway, the track takes you nearly, well the track takes you all the way to the summit and it was well within our sights now as we headed up past the snow line. After a wee bit of huffing and puffing, we were approaching the summit of the Cairnwell, and it sits at 933 metres and means the Hill of the Bags, and we'd taken about 45 minutes to get up here, which yeah, is probably a, an average time for getting to the summit because you start so high from the car park. Ooh, that's us at the top of the Cairnwell, and I'm glad of this wee shelter. We're going to come into shelter in here because the wind is blowing, it must be gusting up to 35 or 40 today and uh, but it, you know what it's cold there's snow on the ground we're nearly in june but it's just lovely the views south are just fantastic the wind's coming from the north so this this is perfectly placed uh, the doors facing south so it's nice and uh, nice and sheltered in here um, so this some people call this an ugly so ugly summit because of all the paraphernalia on top but you know what it's such a nice easy summit to get to and the views are fantastic i mean over to glass mile and and the other Monroe, which I did actually, I'll put some footage on now, I did that when the first big snows hit before lockdown, uh, are just over here and the views are fantastic and I can see right down towards home, in fact I can see the east and west Lomond Hills in Fife today, it's lovely, absolutely lovely, so yeah, we're going to stop here for a short while, get some shelter in here, turn around and we're just going to go back down the way we came. Now. There may have been a video, that it might not be out yet, but myself and my wife brought the camper van up here, I think before lockdown, November time. And once again, there was a wee skimming of snow. We came up the other way. There's no path that way, but it's, a, it's another nice route up to the summit. So watch out for that video if it's not out already. So, Right, time to get back down, I think. Oh, it's not warm. Oh. So I didn't actually stop here for something to eat because when I poked my head out of the wee hut, my wife and my son were off. They were heading back to the car. And I must say that there's another two Monroes here that people often do. Carnoosta and Carnayoy are easily bagged along with the Cairnwell, but for us today, it was time to get back down the glen and back to some warmth in the lodge. And certainly, eventually, it took me a bit of time to catch up with them, but I eventually caught up with the rest of the family and with a lovely donder back down the track and before long the car park was in sight and we were thinking of those bacon sandwiches that we were going to have when we got back. Any of these hills that uh, I mentioned here, these three round about the, the Glen Shea Ski Centre are perfect for beginners because the car park is at such an elevation. Anyway, we were heading back down and, and heading south back towards the Spittal. It was starting to feel a bit more summer-like, shall we say. And by the time we got back to the lodge, the sun was doing its job and we actually ended up sitting outside in the garden, out of the wind, having our tea. It was lovely. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next adventure.